ladies and gentlemen, it is the Sight of Squad Dax here, back at you, finally getting back to making these wonderful little videos that we get to post on the U of Tubes. I'm here with Replacement Tiger, Anders is being a bodyguard at the door, because he's good like that. Anders, can you yell? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you heard that, but he yelled, yeah. So, um, I wasn't able to hang out with him, that's why there was kind of stop videos, but now we're going to be able to make a lot, because we're all on spring break, which is lit. It's fun. And um, this is a little series we like to call Dax and Andrew's Scythe Squad, Amazing Performance, Beautiful, Fantabulous, Extremely Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, List of Favorite Pokemon for Each Type, 18 in total. Thank you for leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. Yes, thank you, Anders. <laughs> so, starting off with the bug type. Bug type is a pretty simple type. You get one, you get a three stage evolution bug type for each generation. But this isn't a three stage evolution, it's a two stages. Two. It is the Gyarados of bug types. It is the Gen 7 first impression. Hit them with face. Palm, it is Galissapod. Now, Galissapod is a really cool Pokemon. He, as I said, he's like a Gyarados. He has a very, a very weak and boring pre evolution. And then, with out of nowhere, like Randy Orton with his RKOs, and boom! 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 It's Galissapod. And you know, your boy Galissapod? is boss. <sighs> I love Glissapod so much. First impression is a really good move. You can learn Scald. Scald absolutely wrecks every single little thing on the battlefield. So good. And he's really fun to use. And he's like Mr. Krabs. And I also have Hermit Krabs. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dax Disner because I post a lot about my Hermit Krabs there. Okay. Now, shh phone, be quiet. My favorite flying type is my most valuable full art card that I've ever gotten. It is Mr. Draw Six Cards. He is powerful. He is a flying type. Two forms. Anyone guess it? It's not the hedgehog. It's the space deer. So I'm talking about Shaman. Shaman is so good. In the TCG, he's my probably one of my favorite cards of all time. As I said, I got a full art EX of him, the Roaring Skies one, so it's like, wow, that's pretty good. I'm not trying to imitate eye dubs, but I just have glasses hat and then perfect opportunity, so you know, I take it. <sighs> Back on the track of loveliness. Shaman is cute, he's got two forms. Um, I personally prefer the more, I like the hedgehog's look more, but I like the space deer magician more, because he's got like a watermelon scarf. Anders, can I get a watermelon? Watermelon! Thank you. <laughs> Am I now moving on to my personal favorite type? The dragon. So simple, elegant, the pseudo-legendaries of almost every region. They're so beautiful. Dragonite. Gudra. <laughs> That's not a good example. Um, Sallow Little Mance. And my personal favorite dragon type. He'll eat your face off. He's a, he's a ground shark. He can fly at Mach 5 speeds, I think. He is Garchomp. Now, Garchomp is a boss. He, in the Fates Collide, hold on one second. In Fates Collide, he is a dope card. And I got him in the, the Magikarp, the Golden Magikarp that you could get from Target, that, that release. And I really like that card, it's super fun to use, it's really all around good card. So moving on to my my second to least my second to least favorite type. My least favorite is normal. 
Well, my second to least is fire type. I know my mixtape is that. Sorry about the noise. But it's cool. Anders is making some dank memes. That's that's the noise. Um, it's Volcanion. Volcanion is so cool. A fire and water type? Like, yeah, please. And his art introducing the dual types to Pokemon TCG. Steam Siege is really cool expansion. And have any of you seen his full art card? Should maybe be right here. I don't know, but it just Google it from the set that he's in. Steam Siege is beautiful. It's got like this cool slash down the middle and half of his water, half of his fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then his secret rare is him, with the giant tower in the back, and then Zerny seems like yee. His design is really cool. And like, the, he is perfect for the move Scald, because he's a fire and water type, so it's like, Scald away! So, my favorite ghost type personally is Hoopa. Hoopa is one of my all time favorite Pokemon. Faux show. I like the cute little cuddly, excuse me, cute cuddly little trickster Hoopa, and then I like the big badass ghost dark type Hoopa, who's just. 21 feet tall. That's cool. And he's... I'm not a huge fan of his shiny. To BH. But, otherwise, he is an all-around very fun to use Pokemon. And holds a near and dear place to my heart because the movie where he summons Hoopa in the Clash of Ages, the movie where he summons all of the legendary Pokemon is like... That's badass. It's really cool. So, now, we got your boy, the ground type, not Groudon, not, Go not Golem, because Golem looks dumb, except for his old Golem form, because he's got a huge beard. I am talking about Mr. Rage, old timing knight, the ghost ground type himself, Mr. Golurk. Golurk was the first secret rare card that I ever got. It was from the black and white Fates Collide, or not Fates Collide, Boundaries Crossed. Boundaries Crossed. And his shiny form, awesome. His regular form, awesome. He's got, he's just an all-around Pokemon. His design's cool, and like, he feels like a Pokemon you can hug. Even though he's giant, and if you like touch him, I'm pretty sure he might kill you. So that's not advised. Moving on to my least favorite type. The normal type. <sighs> it's it's boring, as Andrew said. Because like it's not com if it's not combined with anything, like there are a few exceptions, okay. Snorlax and then those guys are pretty cool. Um Regigigas, Arceus is just kind of Um But there is one that I really love. He's from Gen 7. He's super huge, cuddly. He might break your spine. It is beware. <sighs> oh my goodness. You want to give him a hug. He's like, you want to give him a hug, but then it's like, oh, He's if, you give him, if you give him a hug, he'll break you into three pieces. So I, I haven't given him one hug yet. Mainly because he doesn't exist. So, he's cool Pokemon, and... His shiny form, that like honey color, is so perfect because it's a bear and Winnie the Pooh and honey and all that stuff. Stuffle, adorable pre-evolution. It does look like he has a USB in his butt, but nonetheless, he's an adorable little guy. Yeah, at least he's not the magic school bus. Charge bug. Charge bug is the magic school bus. Is this the magic school bus cruising down on Main Street? Who's dancing to? Shimmy shammy. Okay, what's next on the list? This is why I got glasses. Psychic type. <sighs> From my favorite Pokemon deck that I've ever, ever, ever used. It is my boy, Malomar. Malomar is cool. He evolves from a cute pre-evolution. He's really fun to use. He can possess people. That's pretty... It's pretty lit. He can hypnotize people. Quality kid entertainment. <laughs> Quality children entertainment. Only at, here at the Pokemon anime, we only give you the best. That's why we had Malamar. So we can give you nightmares and think that Pokemon aren't good in real life. Nightmares. Um, but Malamar, 
his Phantom Forces card was super fun to use because I would just smack a bunch of energy on him and then I would use... I remember when you... What type... Ty- what was the move called? I forgot. Oh, was it like... I remember... Because oh, yeah, I remember the move I would use with Yveltal, which was Evil Balls. Evil Balls, yeah. So, Google that card. We Can we get it, like, right here in post-editing? Sure. In between my tingly fingers, where it's like... I, by the time this video is up, I have plenty of time to edit videos. Yee, because spring break, and it's lit half. Um... Steel type, yes. He was the number one for legendaries that we liked. He's cute. He's tiny. He's made of paper. He's a little samurai. He is Kartana. Kartana! Kartana! Oh, I remember you came in like, Kartana! Rock, paper. (laughs) I remember the um, top ten legendaries. That was in the first edited video. And I, like, wasn't even good at editing at all. And now I'm just like, yeah, you can do it, like, in your sleep, you just... I'm gonna take my glasses off for a little bit, because... Um... So, Cartana, he's a cute little guy, he's he's my personal favorite of the Ultra Beasts. He's super fun to use, like, Grass-type doesn't get that much recognition. Steel-type? This is pretty spicy. So, he's cute, and I love him a lot. He's, he's nice! Um, favorite electric type. He's the tapu. He's the cuckoo. He's the tapu cuckoo. He's a he's a tapu coco. Electric fairy type. Dedene, eat your tiny adorable Pikachu clone heart out. Because tapu coco, I love him so much. In the anime, really cool. He steals Ash's hat. I I would totally do the same thing. His card in the upcoming. Uh, Rising Guardians? Rising Guardians looks dope. His new elite trainer box for Rising, Rising Guardians, Guardians, Guardians looks dope. Because the second it comes out, we're going to be on it with Pokemon card openings. This fun. Um, I, I, I do this. Um, so, fighting type. Speaking of fighting, fight me! <laughs> oh god. Rip Dax's glasses, I'll just... Can you please go grab those things? Yes. very much. So, my favorite fighting type from my second my favorite deck that I ever used, which was called, I actually, this was the first one that I named, it was the Elegant Steel Face Punch. I remember And that it deck. was... You're sitting on my phone, my dude. Oh no. Rip Your Dax's phone. phone. Um, the phone was like right there, only the tip And Terrakion, I had a Terrakion EX Full Art. Yep. And he would kill everything. Even me. Especially you. Oh no. Because. Back on duty! Thank you. Terrakion is a rock fighting type. He's based on like a Three Musketeers guy, I think. Along with Ryzen Wireless, Co- Kabalian, and Kaleido. Let's go. And I love him so much. His first attack was, I think, for one fighting, one of any energy. And it was called Pump Up Smash. And what you would do... I don't know, post-editing card right here. It's from Dragon's Exalted, Trachyon EX, Full Art or Regular Art. I had the Full Art. And he looked really cool. And this was where my love for, like... I can't remember. He's a rock type. Don't worry, Dax. I heard that. I'll have the track on the X one. Thank you. And he's a really cool Pokemon. I love him. And so Pump Up Smash would do 90 damage for two energy. And no, that was his main attack. Either way, the bottom one, really good. Both of his attacks are really good, and he's fun to use. Grass type. I have. The one GX I want more than anything. Lurantis. Lurantis. 
I want it so bad, but I never get anything good. I got an Incineroar and a Lunala. Then freaking Anders pulls up with his hyper rare Solgaleo, and then this is Solgaleo GX! It's frustrating. So, Ice type. This one's kind of weird. Deliper. Hear me out. It's his backstory. His backstory is he's got. He puts sandwiches in his tail, and then when people get lost in the mountains, he gives them sandwiches! It's hilarious! It makes me laugh so hard every time I think. So, poison type. Poison types are also kind of meh. Um, Needle King. The I have a sandwich that's actually a cake. Yeet. The OG poison type, Needle King. Needle King is super fun to use. He's really, 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 really. Sorry about that cut, ladies and gentlemen. We had a slight interference that might have caused us to restart the whole video. Shout out to Natalie. Well, my sister. Who made us restart this? This is our fourth try. But or my fourth try making this what? video. Because she's interrupted almost every. But Dax is not going to restart from the beginning. He's gonna. Nope. I'm gonna continue from uh, the poison type, which is Nadu King, Mountain Nadu. Yes, according to editing. As according to editing, Natalie's yell will become. Gone. Thank God. So, Needle King, the OG poison type, ground poison type, super fast. freaking fun to use. I love him so much. He's dope. He's bear grills. Really so, next up, rock type. Ty flipping Ranatar. One of the few Gen 2 Pokemon that I like. That's a stress. I know, it's actually a pillow, but... Yeah, it, nah. it's, it's good for stress. Which I have a lot of right now. Thanks, Natalie. So, rock type, Tyranitar. Super fun to use. He's a dark, dark rock type. Mm -hmm, I think so. Currently the most powerful Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Yeah. Very rare, too. Very, very painful. I only have one water type. I have none. And that one larvitar wasn't even wild. It was from an egg. Gave birth. And, okay, moving on to my favorite dark type. He had his own movie. It was super... I actually cried because he died in the movie. It's Darkrai. Darkrai, everyone thinks he's a bad guy, but he's actually really nice. And I used him in my Malamar deck, and he would absolutely kill everyone because he had an ability where if you have a dark type energy attached to you then you have no retreat cost so I would just have him on the bench and then just basically move everything around and it was fun um and he is a really like everyone's like oh he's a nightmare pokemon he's a bad guy but secretly he's actually a super cool like everyone loves him guy and I love him too now so favorite water type I wasn't going to choose Primarina because, you know, it's up there. It's a very good water type. It's actually the third best. Third, right? Third, Anders? Um, I think On our so. list of 21 starters. Um, yeah, that was, was third, third, I think. So it was in the top one-seventh of that list. And that's, that's good. So, it's not Primarina, but it was our number one. Rated the second most popular Pokemon as of last year. It is... Not Charizard, because Charizard is also not a water type. Oh, yeah. But he sucks. He is. Wait, wait, wait. Greninja. Yes, I wanted you to come in the Smash Bros. way. Greninja. But I love him in Smash Bros. He's super fun to use. He is dope. He's an awesome, awesome starter. He was like. When I first played through Y, he absolutely killed 
everything, and it was such a beautiful massacre of Pokemon blood everywhere. Blah blah blah. blah. Especially beating stupid Gudra in the Elite Four. Because I hate Gudra. <laughs> okay, favorite fairy type. We have Thanks one for coming through all of this. Yes, if you made it this far, you win one well, lollipop. Go buy yourself a lollipop. We can't know. afford it. <laughs> so, favorite fairy type. I don't think like anyone thinks that this is a fairy type, but it's Shinotic. Shinotic is a fairy type. He's really cool. I like him a lot. And he's I, super... Like, everyone's like, oh, he's ugly. I like him, because he's... He's, he's kind of cute. I think he's cute. He's like... Well, you can't see my face expression. He's like... And he's got a big hat. And he goes, weep, weep, weep. I also like his shiny, which no one else likes. Okay, moving on to the final type. I classify this as his own type because this stupid Pokemon right here named Eevee has so many goddamn evolutions. So I just decided to classify this as his own type. So my favorite Eeveelution Pokemon is Sylveon. Now I know you're thinking like Dax. I thought you already did third. No, it's my favorite Eeveelution oh. type. Yeah. <laughs> I, t I already had the evolution in mind, so I guess it's... That's Espeon, so it's kind of like your favorite of that. But Sylvia, excuse me, it's shiny. My friend Nico, shout out to Nico, he's dope. Got a shiny Sylveon that was named Bill. <laughs> and it's like, it's been forever in my mind that like, oh yeah, my friend Nico has a shiny Sylveon and its name is Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so that always makes me laugh. So, make sure to leave a like and rock that subscribe button. So, please join the Scyther Squad today. Yeah. And we will see you in the next video. Toodles!